Hi, I'm Winston Endel, Outdoor Specialist at Sale, and this is your questions answered. Today we're looking at the difference between trail running shoes and road running shoes. When it comes to the difference between trail and road running shoes, first we're going to look at the similarities. They're both really lightweight, they both have a light breathable upper, EVA midsole for shock absorption, but where they become different is in the sole. The trail running shoe is super grippy. This particular one has a Vibram sole for lots of traction in the dirt. You'll also run into the thing that many of the trail running shoes will have what's called a rock guard molded inside. So when you come down on a rock, you don't feel it in the bottom of your foot. And for inclement weather conditions, you'll find uh, many of the trail running shoes are available in a waterproof, breathable option like Gore-Tex. You've asked questions, we got answers. And the first question is, can you run on a treadmill in your trail running shoes? Well, of course you can. But just like riding your mountain bike on the road, it's not as efficient. Basically, if you run on the treadmill in your trail running shoes, you're gonna work a little bit harder because they uh, have a little more resistance and they're a little bit heavier. Next question is, can you use your trail running shoes for running on the road? The answer is yeah. They'll wear out a little quicker because the road surface is more abrasive than running on the trail, but they'll absorb just fine um, as far as the cushioning goes. Now the question we often get is, can you use trail running shoes for hiking? And the answer is a resounding yes. In fact, for through hiking, like the Appalachian Trail, trail running shoes are the most popular choice for through hikers because being over a pound lighter than hiking shoes or hiking boots, it saves an immense amount of energy for the sheer amount of kilometers that you're hiking. And our final question is, how long do trail and road running shoes last? And that breaks down into two different parts. The first is the shock absorption. Generally, that's good for about 500 kilometers. And after that point, it's a good idea to retire your shoes from running. Now, how long it takes you to get to that 500 kilometers, could be three months, could be a year. Um, but then you've got a perfectly functional pair of sneakers to kick around in casually. Thanks for watching. I hope we answered your questions. If you have any more questions, come into our sales stores. And if you want more tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel.